Je vais faire une vidéo simple où je vais dire des trucs simples. D'un mauvais trip, un mauvais mélange pour que les drogues de synthèse te foudroient et que tu t'en ailles tutoyer les anges. Tout va bien. Tout va bien. The flexibility of the system of filmmaking and all of the documents involved in it is much simpler here. And especially for the fast turnaround, for example, we have finished music video for Grange, uh, for his new album, and there the idea was that we had to completely block a very big piece of road with the burning car in the middle of it, and in Paris it would not be possible in less than two weeks. <laughs> and here it's a question of a couple of days, so that really also makes a big difference. I think it's probably like, twice cheaper yeah but for the same amount of money you would get a lot more here than you would in Paris for Kvabian uh, the idea was that to create as many as possible of giant versions of toys we worked with a very talented art director uh, Ukrainian Uh, who had uh, sketched everything and figured out a way how to build these elements. Of course, it's easier to make everything in post-production, but the technique of not making it in post-production and the quality uh, of how the robot looks, how the Rubik's Cube lo looks, is incredible. I would say more retro kind of, or like from the 70s, or. Um, architecture from the 50s yeah something that for example those amazing like dockyards and warehouses in any other country would probably build demolished and you would have a new uh, Batimo, uh, building built there for example the unfinished bridge over Dnieper is, uh, became famous for our son's Bazika music video So it's like an iconic location of Kiev. Another area in Kiev is called Trayeshina district. A lot of high rises and very residential area. It's also very graphic, uh, very monumental. Oh yes, uh, we considered several locations for Bazik uh, of Arisan and one of them was the Merpatri, but it's also Second World War Museum. One of the parts, like the scenes, was supposed to be them wearing uniforms that um, resembled the Nazi uniform. So, of course, it wasn't possible to, <laughs> to convince the administration of Merpatri landmark to let us uh, film there. So we decided to change for a different location, which in the end, I think, worked out even better. To be part of that, for us, it was like uh, an Oscar. <laughs> no, it's true, it's true. It's rare that you get recognized for what you do, so It was very pleasant for us to know that, you know, we contributed to something cool. Generally, of people from other countries, the idea they have about Kiev, compared to when they come and see it, they are always very surprised in a pleasant way. Having been producing advertising and music videos gave us a, a way of uh, presenting Kiev, you know, internationally and Ukraine, not only Kiev, which is for us, of course, great for tourism for our country. It gives local businesses also work. It's all connected. Pete and Flo, these two brothers. Big Flo. Big Flo, yes. Sorry. Oli and Flo and Oli, for example, We have uh, budgeted for the music video for their new song, but in the end, uh, I think we decided to stay in Paris to shoot it. Then Vianney, also, <laughs> but he's not a rapper. No. We get a lot of actually requests from protégés of, of um, uh, Stromae, but I would read like me personally. I really like Damso, what Damso does and uh, it, we would be really happy to do something cool also with him because his music is amazing. Well done. <laughs>